All right, now let's have a listen at our polarizing mixer. So here we are with a polarizing mixer. And let's see, input one. I'll have to review. It's outputting from the max out from there. And then this output is coming from that oscillator. So I mean, one thing we could do to change it is just bring that up. So that's that one. And the third one is actually coming from multiples, which I think is actually this guy over here, bit modifier. So I could change style of bit crush, although I think I was pretty happy with that one. Let's look at input number four is actually the output of this guy. That's the one receiving the random voltages from over here, the bottom. It's just a little element that I wanted to add there. Could try a different CV. Let's try that. Let's try this one. Oh, I think we're going to be happy with that one. Bring back the mix. Let's look at our quad BCA down here. All right, so here we had some of the earliest stuff we started, like back in the segment number one. We have a pulse going out there, and then we also have. I'll have to review this. Output from phase lock loop going in number two, and then number three. It is actually the audio off in the actual low pass gates are a little bass drum element. So I can change that a little bit. I can also change the timbre of that by just changing the octave. And this is just experimenting with it, but like different ways that you can go in and Adjusting the patch. And then of course number four was one of the last things we patched. It was the min out. That's the one that's kind of going out from here and then going up into our BBD if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So that's kind of a little review of what we did in the patch. Now let's look at the top mixer, because we haven't done that yet. That's just the one up here. That primarily has our percussion stuff. This was not really having a lot of movement. Let's see, where did I have that CV coming from? I need to change that a little bit. I must have switched it into high rate. So let me get a different source here. This one's in mid, so let me try that one. I actually want something a little slower. I think this one's going fairly slow. So let me do a sine wave there.
There we go. So that's our phase shifter. And then I think here, let's follow this down. Doo, doo, doo. There we go. It's going across. And then audio out from here, our exponential VCA. So it's just that little percussion sound right there. If I wanted to add something a little bit more to it, um, I suppose I could just take another audio in because this VCA has a second input that's not being used. So I could take that out and then maybe just grab one of the other filter outputs from here. It's just adding one little more ping to this little percussive effect. So now we've kind of changed the character of our patch a little bit. And you can hear now, this is all the elements coming back in. Now, I'm gonna do a global change. Well, for the most part global. I'm gonna bring back, bring down the clock. And you can hear the whole patch has sort of started to transform a little bit. Because I've slowed down the bass line. And I think most of my clock was being multiplied in various sections and triggering different events, so now they're actually still being triggered, but just slower. But I'm going to actually go slower than that. Just to kind of hear what's there. Pretty interesting how different it is from what we had originally. These are just little minute changes that we made across the patch in the different sections as we went through it. Um, at any rate, that's going to kind of wrap up this section of Patch It and this little series as a whole. So if you have joined us for all of the segments, I want to thank you for watching the Sonic Cloud Patch uh, segment. I'm not sure what we have coming up next. But uh, I'll try to make it as interesting as possible. Um, hopefully you found this useful and it kind of gives you maybe a little taste at what you can do with a modular system. Uh, maybe sort of a little insight into how someone else patches. Uh, I'm definitely not necessarily the, the best or the guru or anything like that. Uh, I experiment just like everyone else, I'm sure. Uh, so at any rate, I want to thank you again for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this segment. Watch the other segments if this is the first one you, uh, you're watching. Um, and then if you have questions about some of these other modules, uh, this is just a little plug for myself. Um, I do encourage you to go back and watch some of these in more detail. I do have a lot of segments on YouTube available to watch. Uh, so I would, I would suggest you take advantage of them. Uh, I have the A188 series, A188-2 series, A127 series, A102 I just wrapped up, A124 I just wrapped up, well, maybe a year ago, uh, A120, A125, A106, I think I did a couple on the A118. Uh, I didn't do one on the A180, but I think you guys can figure that one out. Uh, the A189-1, I did a series on that, A110. Uh, and then just a slew of others. I could go through all of them, but, uh, you know, like, let's see, I think A20, A121, I did one on that, A101-2, so just on and on and on. Uh, if you have any questions about a specific sort of thing I did, or what was what, or anything like that, uh, feel free to comment on this video, uh, leave the question. I do uh, try to make a regular uh, appearance on YouTube so I can... Uh, answer questions and things like that and respond to comments because I like to do that. Um, so at any rate, again, thanks for watching and keep on patching out there.